All right, so we got our Delta rough-in valve ready to go. We got it mounted in the location where we want it. P-trap um, is in the right place uh, for the tile-ready pan. So that's all in line, and the lasers make it really easy to make sure that you get all of your plumbing lined up. So PEX-A is a, an expandable uh, PEX pipe. It uses these, uh, these guns to expand it. I think there is a manual expander, but we've only used these. This Milwaukee 12 volt, to 12 volt tool is pretty handy. It just opens and closes. I do have a lot of videos on this. I'll, I'll try to put some links down in the description so you can see. But basically, you just expand it. I do five clips and then it just slips right into the uh, the fitting and that's that's all you need to do yeah it's got these little um, these are the little expandable rings that you put on there so I'll do I'll do the next connection here so the rings only go on one way they do have a stop so uh, they have to go on that way expand it and put it right on So real easy connection. You'll also see that I have these adapters that these are uh, female threaded uh, half inch adapters that switch right over to PEC. So if you don't want to do any soldering, it's, it's great. You don't have to solder at all. You can just screw these on with, we use, um, we use Teflon tape and uh, pipe thread sealant just to make sure we get a really good connection there. But yeah, we did the, did all this without soldering. The only soldering we did was the uh, half inch copper to PEX adapters that we sweated on right there. But if you could get away with um, shark bites, if you wanted to do shark bites, if that is, uh, if code allows in your area, you can do shark bites right there for an easy connection too. So I got the shower head line hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the two supplies on here. So, um, yeah, I'll start with going from the bottom up. Okay, goes on there. Cutting the pecs is really easy. Just these cutters. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this where I think it needs to go. So, uh, got 90, so the, the pex A has all the fittings that you need. This is a 90. So I'll just kind of line it up the best I can here. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna go here, give myself a little room. Expansion ring. Ninety in there. And yeah, see, I left it a little bit high, but that's okay. That's gonna give me a little bit of play. So I can just move move things over as I need to. So you do have a little bit of time uh, from ex the expanding part of it to putting the fitting in. It'll stay stretched out and it's slowly just gonna close. So that's the way I like to do it. You see, I left myself a little wiggle room on the PEX fittings, no problem. Uh, you know, I hear some people say that copper is better, uh, but copper has a lifespan as well too. And one thing about the city that we're in, we're in the city of Folsom here in Northern California, outside of Sacramento. Uh, Folsom, uh, they had a bunch of issues with their copper piping because they took too many of the minerals out of the drinking water and the water supply and it, cause problems within the pipe. I don't know the chemistry that's going on there, but I just know that there's been a bunch of um, failures. So copper pipe also has its issues. Um, PEX, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it doesn't have any electrolysis issues. Uh, I've heard people say something about, uh, you know, rats can chew through it. I've never heard of that or, or seen it. You know, in my experience, again, I've been doing this bathroom remodels for over 20 years. I've never personally come across it, just kind of secondhand stories that I can't even really verify. So I don't know if that's a deal. Um, and also, 
PEX does have some give to it. So if your pipe freezes, you know, it has a little bit of room to expand where copper pipe is, is more prone to breaking. Again, if you know more about this than I do, please leave a comment in the section below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I guess one, you know, one drawback to, to PEX is, is the orifices that, uh, you know, it, it's a smaller orifice there than a copper pipe, right? You know, you got probably three eighths here instead of a half inch. So that might restrict the water flow. But here in California, we have 1.75 max on our shower heads. So, you know, that's not a whole lot of water coming through. We don't, we don't need that flow rate. Uh, but that's done. I mean, water supply's hooked up. Hey, Ronnie, let's go ahead and uh, fire up the water. We'll check. <laughs> we'll do that live. <laughs> you sweating, guys? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Y'all good? Got this stops off. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. Get your phone. Um, actually, the stops are on. No, they're off. Oh, they're off? Yeah. They're I'll, pressed in. I'll just need a, um, a screwdriver so I can loosen them up just to test this gotcha. and test the cap on the bottom. Okay, so one thing I like to do when we're, we're turning the water supply on to check our plumbing, our connections, uh, I like them to call me. Ronnie's calling me right now. Hey, what's up, Ron? Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, might be a, something. The vanities might be on. Oh, hold on. The toilet. The toilet's on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How does this thing... This is the in or out. Oh, you pull it out. Okay. All right, that guy's off now. That's interesting. And then the vanity, I think, might be on. I don't think, I don't hear it. Okay, here we go. Is it on, Kirk? Yes. Okay. It's coming in slow. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, the vanity's on. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and crank it, Ron. Yeah, you're on all the way. Oh, full power? Okay, right on. Thanks, Ronnie. Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. Yeah, so it's nice to have somebody turn the water on for you and, and communicate with them because what that, you know, if, if I were to hear a leak, I could say, hey, hey, shut off the water real quick, but we're oh, good. Oh, shit, yeah, shit, I thought, oh. I'm to shut it off. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we're good. So I got the, the stops off on this, this mixer. Um, so I'm going to open up the stops because I also want to make sure that this line connection is good. I, I, have, a, I have a plug in here, so... Yeah, so yeah, just opening up the stops here. That's gonna allow the the hot and the cold um, to pressurize the line. Yeah, so we're good. So this line's pressurized. Um, everything's good to go. So yeah, that's how you do uh, PEX A. Uh, we're ready to go now. It's a simple, easy fix. Um, good job. If you want some more detailed plumbing videos, I'll put links to those videos in the section below. And last but not least, I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.